my name is Dan Potra and I'm a uh, designer. I usually work in um, sets and costumes and projections and anything else that goes in between. D designing an opera has got a, a long process and actually it involves quite a, an entire chain of people all doing specific jobs. Once I manage to finish my uh, designs and build a model, then we have to take it through a laborious process of costing. Uh, and you do that with a technical director, with builders, with um, uh, a variety of other specialist constructors. Uh, and of course, f as always, first time will come too expensive. <laughs> So you have to have a second pass at it. Costume design uh, requires the same structured way of uh, making it and building it. Starting from the very creative process, which is di difficult in its own right, but then we move into uh, the reality of actually putting it on people that go on stage and have to perform extraordinary feats. You always rely, in that case, on cutters and on seamstress people and on dyers and art finishing and of course all the way down to the dressers who actually have to look after it every day. Opera can be expensive because opera is the most complete, if you like, art form that everything comes together hopefully in a, you know, a beautiful kaleidoscope of uh, sounds and vision. I think Queensland has to have its own operatic voice. Just importing and copying and pasting from interstate or from overseas, it's not good enough. I think uh, project like The Perfect American should be the impetus to, if you like, to um, not necessarily raise a st standard, but rather throw the glove to the local artists and say, yes, we can do better than that.